Welcome to another video explaining the universe using the particle model. Well, today's video is part two of discussing the canal ray tube. And when I finished the last one, I, I hinted at this video saying that there was indications by uh, some information on the internet that <laughs> the magnetic deflection almost never happens. That intrigued me that they would say it that way. Others said it would it would happen, but we're going to look at it today. In the, my last video, this is what I was referring to. The electrons in the lower part of the tube can be deflected by a magnetic field, but the canal rays almost not. In the lower part of the tube can be deflected by a magnetic field. That's the electron flow. That's the, the uh, cathode ray can be deflected but the canal rays, almost not. Must be difficult, a difficult thing to do. Well, this is uh, the deflection I was thinking was going to happen. And because the canal rays are, are the ray itself is developed here, you can see the ray coming this way. Uh, the standard model uses an electric force here, electric field from plus to minus to push the uh, positive ion towards the negative plate. Or you could think of it as charge, plus is being attracted to negative. But in the particle model, we have an accumulation of a, a large number of G1 particles here, and, and some here giving us a, uh, a, an imbalance between the uh, G1 particle density here and which sets up a net G2 force pushing the, the uh, ion down. Of course, in the particle model, this doesn't have charge. We're just pushing an object that has, has some mass. So that's where I thought this was all going to happen. Uh, but in order to find out more about it, I clicked on, I, I searched on magnetic deflection of canal rays. And guess what? My last video, the one I just did, it was it popped right up <laughs> about halfway down the page, at least that time. I did this several times. It doesn't always come up uh, up that high, but it's there. But I did find a real example, and it took me a while to find this. This is the link. The title is Goldstein's Canal Ray Experiment. And it does show magnetic deflection of canal rays. Well, I'll, I'll let you judge for whether it does or doesn't. This is the setup, and I apologize. I see this is really small. This is 13.9 kilovolts of, of DC voltage and current flowing to the negative, well, up, excuse me, to the negative up here, down to the positive terminal giving us an electron flow in this downward direction. What's really interesting is this is like a Geiger counter. And if you if you go to this video and listen to it, there's nobody talking, but you hear constantly hear the static and you can see the red light indicating that there's some radioactivity going on by the mere flow of current through a uh, tube, which has basically one millimeter of, uh, uh, of pressurized mercury in there. That's the setup. And late, much later in the, uh, about this, this late in the video, they bring magnets in. Presumably this is the north, no, this is the north, this is the south. And they, they're showing you they're going to bring it up and right to the bottom part, not up here where I thought they would be looking, but as the uh, earlier slide said, the def magnetic deflects it in the lower part of the canal ray tube. So, so they, they got this on a slider and they slide it in. Well, then they turn the light off, they do the same thing, and they slide it in. Now, you can't see it here. 
But before this magnet gets close, this blue light is kind of smeared around, and then when it gets closer and closer, it kind of gathers here. Well, there's a couple of things that are interesting. The red glow, as I previously reported in another video, is an indication that you've got these positive ions moving up here. And you normally have green uh, glow down here where the electron flow is. Now, it's not green, it's blue, but of course we've got a magnetic field there now. Uh, the only thing I could think of, and I'm just thinking out loud here, is that when a magnetic field, uh, or excuse me, when solar winds hit the magnetic field of the Earth, we get the uh, northern lights. Uh, but this is supposed to be deflection. This is supposed to be his experiment. He's showing the deflection. It's not a very strong indication, but at least it's a live video. Well, I did find an animation where it showed exactly the same thing, and this is the link to it. And uh, you get down to the end of the video here, they are showing a magnet, a horseshoe magnet, being applied in the lower part of the uh, canal ray tube. And basically it shows the uh, flow of the positive ions in this direction. And it shows the negative, the flow of electrons in this direction. Well, I sit here and I applied the left-hand rule. Well, if you've got positive ions flowing this way, then you, you can use your uh, uh, the middle finger to point in the direction. Now, my, my finger is opposite the, the uh, video, the screen. And uh, you point it in, in, in that direction. You point the, the magnetic field is going into the tube. My thumb goes up. It, put, it says it up. So if, if this is the north end and that's the south end, then it would push it up. But you've got the electron flow going down. Well, yeah, it's, it's supposed to go opposite. It's opposite charge. Expect to go opposite. Uh, so you, you turn it over, and initially you would think that, okay, yeah, it's, point, it's, it's pointing down when I flip my hand over, except that current flow hasn't really changed. I don't need to flip it because the current flow for a positive charge is this way. That's current flow to the right. This is a particle flow to the left, which is current flow to the right also. They're both current flow to the right, magnetic field in, force up. One of these is wrong. Whoever put this graphic together has got it wrong. It can't be both ways. It, it, these should both deflect the same way as depicted using the left-hand rule. Maybe the left-hand rule is wrong. Well, this is a slide I used last time which shows that when the uh, electrons uh, flow this way, they hit the gas molecules and split. This one has hit a gas molecules and two electrons go that way and the positive ion goes this way and you get the end. It's a splitting function on the positive uh, uh, ions that move this way. It's just a splitting. There is no, let me get into it, there's, there's a, a condition needed for a magnetic field. That canal ray, which is positive ions, not, uh, you can just think of this as a canal ray of positive charge, in order to deflect in the, uh, either the up or down direction, depending whether the north or south this way, you have to have a counterclockwise magnetic field. That's the particle model's answer. You've got to have this, but if you, if you only have a splitting function and nothing more, then I see no way for there to be a magnetic field around it. Plus, the, uh, the magnet is applied back here, not out here. It, it, it's really very confusing. Uh, I don't see 
when splitting the gas molecules, is there a counter, is there a clockwise, it has to be clockwise. There's no way for it to be clockwise because you have to have a structure to, for the ray to go through to set up a clockwise motion and there's no clockwise motion. The question is, do they really move? They, some say yes, uh, others say almost not. It's very confusing. Now, that unfortunately is, is my summary is that uh, I can't come to an absolute conclusion here about the cathode of the canal ray. Cathode ray seems to work well as long as you can establish a magnetic field, a clockwise magnetic field. As, the thing, as, the, as it's coming towards you, it has to be clockwise. And uh, that doesn't seem to happen here. My name is Bobby Hilser, and I am your particle model guru. Tune in next time. I'll explain more of the particle model using, <laughs> explain more of the universe using the particle model. Thank you for your attention.